So the next polygon we're going to look at is a quadrilateral, which is a four-sided figure. So we make four points anywhere on the on the page, and we're going to click on the points clockwise and select construct and segments. And so it constructs for us a four-sided figure. And we'll name these again. And so this is going to be, oops, this is going to be point A, point B, point C, and point D. And so again, we have to measure the angles. So on this, click on the select tool and make sure you set your preferences to units so that you don't get a whole pile of decimals that you don't need. And we're now going to measure angle A. So we're going to call this angle D, A, B. And so that's 100 degrees. We're going to now measure angle, the angle at B, which is angle A, B, C, or C, B, A. And we're going to measure that angle and it's 109 degrees. We're now going to measure the angle at point C, which is BCD or DCB, and that's 76 degrees. And we're going to measure the angle at point D, so that is also 76 degrees. So what we're going to do is we did before, we're going to add all these up. So we're going to click on measure and calculate. And we're going to add each of the values. So angle ABC plus BCD plus CDA. And so now we've added all of the four different angle measures. And we get a sum of 360 degrees. And so if we click on all these measures, and once again, put these into a table. So we're going to tabulate. And what we can do is double click and move these points around. and. And as you can see here, every time you have a quadrilateral, the, si the interior angles of a quadrilateral has a sum of 360 degrees. And if we're going to draw a diagonal here, and we're going to draw one diagonal, then we end up with two triangles. And if you note, 180 plus 180 is 360. So there is a relationship between the number of triangles you can draw and the sum of the interior angles of a, of a polygon.